You have probably seen the Lambda operator in C Sharp and have always wondered how did we get here. So let's have a look and understand the basis of Lambda operator. Where did it come from? So Lambda came from a mathematical concept called calculus. And this is what it appeared as. So in Lambda calculus, you'd write a Lambda character and then the letter X and then a dot. And then you would say X plus one. So what this basically means, this is a function that takes X and returns X plus one. So this concept is coming from calculus in mathematics. And you probably have heard of functions in mathematics. And then in different languages, C sharp decided to implement it with this syntax, which is X. It has with the Lambda operator here, X plus one. In JavaScript, this is how it's done. In Python, we use x colon and then x plus 1. And then in Haskell and in list, you can see the various syntax here. The C sharp got the lambda operator from functional programming languages. And when did they arrive in C sharp? So it was in C sharp 3.0 in 2007. This came along with the link L I N Q. And before that, it, you had to use delegates. So why is it so useful? Basically, the advantage is you do less typing. So you can write your function in nine it's more readable as you get used to it so this is how it evolved first when you had to use the link method you could actually use a full method here so here we are defining the method is adult takes in a person class and then returns the person's age but then microsoft changed that and said why don't we use anonymous functions which is a function that doesn't have a name so they used the keyword delegate and passed it a person class and then did some checks and that was known as anonymous function function and even shorter syntax was lambda operator so that you supply an object like the person here but without name naming the class you just specify the argument so here we've got the p and then that gets passed over here and then you do your checks over here and then the output is passed out to the where function so that's why in your code here today you see the lambda operator and i just wanted to share with you where it came from it basically came from calculus this is how it was written in mathematics and then c sharp of course wanted to use the Lambda operator and you can see how JavaScript implemented it and so did Python.